Today, we're going to look at the top five factors that affect how much an SNMP manager costs. Hi, this is Andrew and welcome back. If you're looking at buying an SNMP manager, you have a lot of different questions that are going through your head and one of the most important ones has to be, how much is this thing gonna cost me? That's obviously a complicated question, it honestly depends, but I can guide you through some of the key factors that affect price, so when you look at what you're trying to accomplish, you'll get a sense of how much it'll cost to do those things. So let's start by looking at the first of our important SNMP manager cost factors, recurring costs. Recurring costs like licensing and maintenance fees actually have a huge impact on your initial purchase price. I think we can all imagine everything from a one-time purchase where you pay a fee once and you own your SNMP manager forever, that would be the more traditional purchasing model, all the way to more modern software as a service models where you pay literally nothing up front, but you're signing a contract and now you're gonna pay some kind of monthly fee forever as long as you wanna use your SNMP manager. And then there are hybrid models everywhere in between where you might pay a moderate initial purchase price and then you'd pay a little bit month by month for as long as you're gonna use the system. So you need to understand what that's going to be because that can have a huge impact where it might look very attractive in the beginning, but in actuality, you're gonna be paying these ongoing fees forever. So be aware of that. Now let's take a look at our second important price factor, capacity. The number of devices that your SNMP manager can support obviously has a huge impact on the price. You have everything from a massive enterprise grade SNMP manager that can support thousands upon thousands of SNMP agents, all the way down to small software that just supports a couple devices. It might be free, could be something that a hobbyist might use or a, an enthusiast might put in their home network. So there's this massive range and based on the amount of devices you want to monitor, it's going to have a pretty direct impact on price. Now let's look at factor number three, reliability. Reliability is a less obvious price factor. A lot of people that I talk to who are doing initial SNMP research say, I can get this software for free. It's open source, I can use it forever. And that's true. But the question is, is it going to be reliable for the application at hand? I mentioned hobbyists before, if you're an enthusiast, if you just have a network and no one's really depending on it, go ahead, use free software, it'll work, especially for a small scale network. But as your network gets larger and more and more people depend on it, like if you're a telco or a power utility or even the public safety radio, you really need a system that just has maximum uptime and you can afford to pay a little bit more and you can justify that cost because that reliability is just absolutely important. Let's move on now to factor four, included installation, training, and support. This is one of the less obvious price factors, especially if you haven't purchased an SNMP manager before, because you're, at the beginning, you're just looking at the equipment, what it can do, what the general capabilities are, but realistically, how are you gonna install this thing? How are you gonna get training? What if you need tech support? These are big items and they either can be expensive if you didn't plan ahead for them and now you're paying some hourly or per incident fee, or maybe they're not even available at all depending on the solution you chose. I can guarantee you that free open source software will not include any bundled services. I mean, how could it? And there's a huge spectrum from absolutely no service like that all the way to total full service where everything's included. And clearly, the more services are included with your overall purchase, it will affect your upfront purchase price. Now let's take a look at our fifth and final factor for SNMP manager price, multi-protocol integration. In a perfect world, you'd have 100% SNMP capable devices in your network and you'd have an SNMP manager and your monitoring system would be done. But we don't live in a perfect world and that's not gonna happen very often. In all likelihood, you have much older gear that you're still wanting to use that uses some older protocol that was a precursor to SNMP perhaps you need to have a way to handle that equipment. So a SNMP manager that also handles other protocols can be invaluable. It might increase your price somewhat, but it can be an easy thing to justify when you consider that instead of having multiple incompatible systems and your older master might be a little bit unreliable, you can bring everything into your new SNMP manager that also handles other protocols. So now let's look at some specific price levels that you might expect to pay for an SNMP manager out there in the marketplace based on what you're trying to accomplish. As I said before, there absolutely is a free tier. This is going to be open source software that you just install on a PC workstation. And it's really just you against the world with that one, but it can be pretty effective, especially if you're getting started. You're gonna install the software. You will have to figure out a little bit on your own. There is some documentation and there can be a good community surrounding it. You just won't have a tech support line that you can call up. And that's a great way to get started, but 
if you are operating in any kind of a business environment beyond what a hobbyist or an enthusiast would do, just understand that you're on a PC workstation and this is software that nobody's responsible for. You haven't paid anybody anything for it, so it's up to you. So really think about reliability as you consider going with free tools, but I highly recommend them no matter what environment you're in if you're trying to get started, just to play around with SNMP and understand some of the core concepts without spending any money on it. As we move upward, you get to about a $6,000 price tier. And this is where you'll start to see integrated hardware software appliances, and they can be actually quite capable, as capable as some SNMP managers that can support thousands of devices. The major difference is that they might have a limited site count. So you might see yourself limited to 16 or 64 SNMP RTUs out at your various remote sites, something like that. And this price level is actually created from higher level SNMP managers, where a software limit allowed the manufacturer to sell it at a smaller price if you're trying to manage a smaller network. So you'll see a lot of really capable hardware devices that just have some kind of a, a site count cap so that the manufacturer can offer it to you at a lower price. So then as we move up even further, you get to something like the fifty or $60,000 level. And this is where you start to see similar hardware software appliances, but they're uncapped. So you might have thousands of devices that you could support out there. And also you start to get options for enhanced reliability, like having a dual redundant set of SNMP managers where you might have one in one state that maybe it's hurricane prone and another in another state. And if that primary goes down, well, you can fail over to your secondary SNMP manager very quickly. So you'll start to see features like that at about that $50,000, $60,000 level. And then from then, we go to $100,000 and up. You get to just massive enterprise grade SNMP managers. If you are a multinational network, or you just span multiple states, that's something to really think about because you're gonna have thousands upon thousands, tens of thousands of sites, and that's where you'll start to get to the point where that kind of six-figure plus SNMP manager can make sense. If you'd like to talk with me about SNMP managers, I would be happy to work with you. Just click the link below to get in touch with me. If you like this video, please don't forget, click that like button, and also subscribe to the channel so you can get more videos like this one. Until next time, I wish you excellent network reliability.